What's up, my ninjas? It's Cory from Super Kami Guru 9000, your guide to the anime universe. Now, I just want to say that I liked this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden for probably one of the strangest reasons ever, and that's that it really complemented this week's Naruto manga chapter. It was still a pretty good episode. In fact, I was really surprised by it because the way it opened up, I thought it was going to be a complete retread of some of the older episodes. But what was really cool here is we really got to see some events we never saw before. We got to see what was really going on in Kakashi's mind during all of these events and before he actually met Team 7, and then when they go through with the bell test at the very end. It's pretty awesome. So, the episode actually opens up just like in the original episodes with Kakashi and the third Hokage going to Naruto's apartment house, and they walk inside to this rat hole infested place. It's disgusting, there's expired milk all over the place, and this is what leads to that one classic episode where Naruto was constantly shitting his orange britches, which thankfully they sort of skip in this episode. We actually immediately get to see what happens after this, which is brand new material. We get to see uh, Kakashi and the third Hokage going to Sakura and Sasuke's house, and this is basically just an excuse to see Sakura's parents again and then they actually get to go to Sasuke's apartment, and we get to see how different it is from Naruto's, and this is what sort of sets up this conversation with Kakashi and the third Hokage, where we learn that, you know, the third Hokage, mama didn't raise no fool. The guy's pretty damn smart. Everything he does is usually pretty deliberate, and that was the reason why he had all of these teams come together. He had the special taijutsu team, he had the special clans ability team, he had Naruto and Sasuke be together because of the Sharingan and the Kyubi. What I love most about this conversation, and what I think was probably an unintentional joke, is by the end of it, no one even mentions Sakura, and then Kakashi's like, so, what's up with Sakura anyway? Like, is she gonna do anything? And the third's like, well, she has the potential to become a very strong ninja. But I like how as soon as that scene was done, they immediately transitioned to the third Hokage with his younger students, Orochimaru, Jiraiya, and Tsunade. And this is just a nice allusion to the fact that Sakura is going to be like Tsunade, she's going to be trained by her, and this is just another good scene to show like all of these teams, how they were so similar. But my favorite scene this week, and one that really caught me by surprise, was at the end of the episode when you get to see the classic bell test with Kakashi, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. There's that one scene where Naruto is tied up to the log and his teammates are trying to decide if they're going to feed him or not. They then cut away and you get to see Kakashi watching. We saw all this before, but we really never got to see what he was thinking during all of this. And this one scene, I'm not sure what it was, but it just affected me in a strange way. When he lifted up his headband and it revealed his Sharingan eye and he was watching, and then he just started talking to Obito and he's like, Do you see that, Obito? That's the future of the Konoha village right there. The fact that that's Obito's eye, literally seeing it and the way he's just talking about it, I don't know what it was. But I almost wanted to cry when I saw that scene, and it got even cheesier when the images of his old teammates were behind him and they pushed him forward to pass Team 7, and that's when Team 7 is formed. I don't know what it was, it just, it really caught me by surprise. But, uh, like I said, I think I really loved this episode because of how much it complemented the chapter this week. So, spoiler alert, this week's Naruto chapter, 675, had a lot of big events where Team 7 actually came back together through a lot of crazy events, and there was the scene where Kakashi actually had his eye ripped out, his Sharingan eye, by Madara Uchiha, and then Naruto comes back and he's able to heal it, and he has both of his original eyes back. The White Fang is back, ladies and gentlemen. But what's really cool about the end of the chapter is how Kakashi gets to see the growth of his students, and how their original dreams have changed, and how much they've changed and matured as time has gone on. And with this week's Naruto anime, they just, they really go well together. If you just happen to watch them or read them back to back to each other, you'll understand what I mean. And that's really why I liked this week's uh, Naruto Shippuden episode. So, let me just give you the rundown this week. The animation and the artwork was pretty clean and pretty decent throughout the course of the episode. This was not a big action fest. This was meant to uh, give us a little more insight into Kakashi's mindset and to see how he has developed as a Jonin leader. Another thing that I really liked about this episode were all of the little extra scenes that they added in, like getting to see the uh, different teachers coming in to meet their students, like Asuma and Kurenai. There was a scene where Kakashi was meeting Yamato uh, when he was, uh, you know, looking at Obito and looking at the monument and everything, and I thought that was really cool. But still, it was just a decent episode. It's not going to blow any minds. But if you're a Naruto fan, I think you're really going to enjoy this week's episode. It's going to give you the feels in some moments. But there's another reason to be excited, because this is the end of the filler arc, which means... 
More canon material! Yes, we are going back to the actual manga storyline starting next week, and it looks like it's going to get really exciting. And supposedly, there's not going to be any filler for the rest of the year. Don't quote me on that. That's just what I've been reading. It's going to be awesome, though, if that's the case. Now, when they say filler, they say, like, whole, like, filler episodes and filler arcs. There's still a chance... They're going to add in some filler scenes, but if they work within the confines of the episodes and they happen to complement everything, I'm okay with that. Like, if they want to add, like, an extra fight scene and make it look really cool, do it. Go crazy. Just make sure to give us your A-game, because now that we're finally getting ready to get into the climax of Naruto Shippuden, I want to see shit pop off. I want to see this series really go out with a bang. So, anime team, don't let me down. I know you won't. You guys are awesome. We'll go out and have a beer when it's all done. So, 7 out of a 10 episode from me. Check out the episode if you're a fan of the series. I think you'll definitely like it, especially if you were reading the uh, manga chapter this week. Read the chapter, watch the episode, watch the episode, read the chapter. It's all good, guys. Check it out. That concludes my review of Naruto Shippuden. But what did you guys think about this week's episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you get the feels when Team 7 came together? And what do you think is going to happen in the future of the Naruto Shippuden anime series? Tell me your thoughts and theories below. Remember guys, before you leave, make sure to hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. So, I'll see you next time guys. Super Kami Guru 9000 out.